Hello, 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 and welcome back to Delicious Kitchen. It's me, D. Today, I am making garlic sesame flank short ribs. Now, what you're going to need is some scallions, about two tablespoons, some garlic, about five cloves, some fresh basil chopped, and about two tablespoons of brown sugar, some parsley flakes, some black pepper, some liquid aminos, and we're going to have some garlic, of course, and some white pepper, some sesame oil, fish sauce, and of course some lime. Okay, in this bowl I have three to four pounds of flank short ribs. They have been washed and cleaned thoroughly. And I'm going to be using a glass measuring cup and a whisk to make my marinade. Okay, in my glass measuring cup, I already have about one third cup of liquid aminos. I just added some fish sauce, about a tablespoon. And right here, I'm adding about a teaspoon of sesame oil. Right here, about one to two tablespoons of brown sugar. You can do it based on your taste. Some fresh garlic, you can dice it. Right there, I have it sliced. And that is some fresh basil leaves. You don't necessarily need basil leaves. And that's some scallions. I'm only using half because I'm gonna use the rest as a garnish. And that's my marinade. Simple, easy peasy. Right there, I have my flank short ribs and I'm just gonna add some lime, fresh squeezed lime to it. Get that all in there. Then I'm gonna add some white pepper, some garlic powder, I'm gonna add some parsley flakes, and then some black pepper. Okay, what would garlic sesame flank short ribs be without sesame seeds? So right there, I'm adding my sesame seeds and I am adding my marinade. Okay, I'm attempting to massage all of the marinade and make sure all of the flank short ribs is coated with the marinade. And I'm going to put that in the fridge for at least two hours. You can put it in the fridge overnight. You know, that would be best. How is it possible that they look delicious already? There you see, I have the garlic, the basil. I have all the seasoning, the sesame seeds. Ugh, just pure deliciousness. Right there, I'm just adding a little bit of extra virgin olive oil to my roasting pan. And I have my marinated short ribs right there. They've been marinated for several hours at this point. And I'm just going to... Now, keep in mind, you don't necessarily have to add any olive oil, but I like the flavor it gives. Short ribs pretty much have a lot of oil on its own. It produces enough oil on its own. You really don't need to add any oil, but I like the flavor from extra virgin olive oil, especially that one that I use. So right there, I'm just layering my... Um, my short ribs into the pan roasting pan and i'm trying to do it in one layer i don't want them overlapping because i want them to cook evenly okay so right here i'm going to pour some of the marinade onto my short ribs i'm not going to use all of it because i'm going to add some cornstarch to the remainder and use it as a thickening asian so we can have some nice gravy or sauce Okay, right here, I'm just going to sprinkle a little bit more sesame seeds. It has um, sea salt and garlic in it, so we're getting a boatload of garlic, and I love it. So right there, I'm sprinkling a little bit more sesame seeds. That way, it can toast while it's cooking, and yeah. Okay, so I'm going to place a lid on this and cook it on 350 for approximately one hour. Right here, I'm just going to add a little bit of cornstarch to the remainder of that marinade just to um, uh, use it as a thickening agent. 
Right there, I'm gonna use my little whisk and make sure I get it all incorporated, make sure I get all the cornstarch nice and smooth. And then halfway through the cooking process, I'm gonna pour it on there and we're gonna use that to thicken up that gravy so we can pour it on our potatoes. Um, if you're using rice, you can use it to pour it on rice. Um, the options are endless. Couscous, quinoa, whatever you wanna to use to pour your gravy on, you'll have plenty of it. As you can see, the short ribs have created a lot of liquid, which is a good thing. Just gonna flip it so that the other side gets some nice cooking time. And even at this point, it was nice and soft, but we needed to get some color. We need the other side to get cooked as well. Okay, at this point, remember, I did not add any liquid. All of that liquid you see is produced by the short ribs. Also, it's been cooking for about one hour at this point. And right here, I'm just going to add the little thickening agent that I made um, so that we get some nice gravy to pour on whatever you want to use it for. Okay, at this point, I'm going to place it back in the oven and let it cook for about another 30 minutes to 45 minutes. And here you have it. It's all complete, nice and done, has a beautiful color. It has a nice gravy that you can use to pour on anything. Mashed potatoes, rice, couscous, quinoa. The options are endless. I've decided to pair my flank short ribs with mashed potatoes and roasted garlic string beans. Isn't that beautiful? If you enjoy this content, please like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.